Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. Just off screen now, I just went through Watts over here in Cambridge and got all the good stuff. So that's all been done. I did salvage some uh, stuff that was in there as well. Some uh, dryers and washers and stuff. So got some good scrap from that. Uh, now I think we are going to be heading down... Why don't we go to Boston? Why don't we finally go down into um, Diamond City and stuff and get this stuff started? I have a bunch of quests going down there. We have to go over to Hangman's Alley anyway. Oh, we have the Vault, the vault Tech quest as well now. Interesting. I can go ahead and uh, do that. Vault 88, emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency Is that you? The uh, Children of Adam can be rather scary. I think this is because I just hit level 20 or level 15. No, level 20. Right? You said level 20, right? Yeah, hit level 20 when I was inside of uh, Watts. This thing is just not cutting it for the gunners. Okay. Fun fight. We had a bunch of gunners and Children of Adam fighting it out. But yeah, inside of uh, Watch Electronics, there are a bunch of deactivated robots. So, of course, I just bashed him over the head with a uh, sledgehammer. But they still give you experience, so... Go through and loot these real quick. This... Whoa! Whoa! A whole bunch of stuff in here. That may be the most things I've seen in a single crate so far. Oh, a radium rifle. I don't know if those have been rebalanced or if they're any good now. They might be. It's okay, I can always craft one, I suppose. Pretty sure that one was ruined anyway. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna head south over here. Oh, for a second I thought that white roof over there was like smoke coming up. But yeah, because we hit level 20, we got the Vault Tech quest. We also got um, the... What's the quest? Um, the alien landing quest thing event happened. It looked like they went... I mean, it looked like they flew down this way, though, which is... Uh, aren't they always, like, over here? Maybe they were going that way, I don't know. We can check it out at some point, though, and go get the Alien Blaster. Pretty sure you can craft, um, cells for that in Horizon, so I could use that if I wanted to. I'm not sure how good or bad it is, but, uh, I guess we'll find out. I think we've been through most of this area already, yeah. So we shouldn't see a whole lot, but uh, as soon as we get over into Boston, that'll change. So I think we can take... I think we still get uh, Hangman's Alley for ourselves, or for the Minutemen, rather. Pretty sure we just have to assign it as, like, a safe house. I don't, I don't think it really matters that much. Where is... Okay, hello. 
It's, oh no, it's, it's just a... It looks like a door, but it's not a door. Okay. It already went through over here. Should probably have my gun out so I can see people. Alright, buddy, you're just cheating over there in the bushes. You can't see me through the bushes. Man, you were tanky. Okay. Another LMG. The combat armor does look really cool. Like, for roleplay purposes, I would certainly wear it. But, sadly, we must min-max, and uh, looking cool is not as important as staying alive in a permadeath run. This is not our bridge. We've got to go down one more bridge. <clears throat> not our turn. Well, maybe you can get across here. I know you can get across for sure on the other one, though, so we'll just go down one more. Could be scoping stuff out over here, too. Already killed these guys, so that... I think I did, right? Pretty sure I took these guys out quite a bit earlier. And this is the Institute, which, uh... Yeah, nobody's there. We're good. That will be some synths and super mutants fighting. We can take a peek in here real quick and get that stuff, I guess. Doesn't take very long. Just be in out. Bunch of good loot in here besides too. Style sensor reading detected. Gonna be a good fight. Oh. What's that? Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure these mutants are gonna get absolutely wrecked. What is he shooting at? Let's all baby scared. Whoa, 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 that's a lot of damage. These guys hurt a lot. Okay, uh, I don't have a lot of these, but... Gonna back off here and get some cover. Let the heels do their thing. Got three magazine packages here. Okay, melee. Fascinating. Companion stuff there. And construction. Okay, and this is whatever, a clean tin can. I'm gonna use some first aid supplies too. 
Pretty sure the mutants are all dead. Just a couple of cents left. That should like double my healing per second. We're not going to fight though while we're doing that. I'll just go down here and loot some stuff while I'm waiting for them to cool down and uh, my heals to go into effect. wonder how the script handles whenever you're healing with two different items. If it's smart enough to realize you're healing with another item so it doesn't use as much first aid supplies or not, I don't know. We're gonna fight since, though, I would say time to bring out the, uh, the big gun. Never look at this thing. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it has, um, bleeding damage? Two bleed damage. Huh. Okay. Oh, shit, this goes outside. Crap. I mean, I just assumed it would go upstairs, not outside. Okay, uh, well, back in we go. I mean, we're not done yet, so... There's a boss-type chest in a classroom up on the upper levels, a bunch of stuff in the kitchen to loot, and multiple synths, so... Yeah, we're certainly gonna go back in here and loot stuff. And kill more stuff. And now we're hidden at least, so that's good. Gotcha. Gotcha. There's two. You coming at me from, buddy? Calculating most efficient attack, it would appear my target had there you off. Get wrecked. I've also learned that I should probably be scrapping these back at the base. Oh, I didn't mean to do that actually. Well, yeah, harvesting is fine. Should probably be scrapping this stuff back at the base, uh, even though it carries a it it uh, weighs a ton because the weapons, at least, especially because we get more out of them if we if we scrap them at the base. You don't get the um, the extra materials from the mods that are on the item. And that goes for both armor, I believe, and weapons. So, like, we'll get nuclear material and stuff like that from these weapons like um, like this. If it has a Gamma Wave receiver on it. So... Better off seeing everything back this way. So I will just try to make as much room as I can. That way we can pick all that stuff up. If you're curious, the reason why I keep a couple of those um, dirty water on me, it's because that's the only way I know of to put yourself out when you're on fire. 
and uh, being on fire is not very pleasant, as you might imagine. If I had a bit more carry weight, I would just like do double tap R for every single one, just go R R and then be done with it. But yeah, so like um this thing and this thing I probably excuse me. Excuse me there. Wilson. Just gonna moonwalk out of here, okay. But yeah, that protective helmet and the other thing I should probably Take those back to base. Scrap them there instead. That was three, right? We got all three of them? Or there are more on a different floor up higher. Yeah, different floor up higher. Okay. Yeah, right up there. Don't want to miss any. Those synths are valuable. So make a cool screenshot right here. Anytime there's like light coming in somewhere. Do one of these. And not quite. I need to be further in the light. Or maybe like right here would be okay. That's not bad. Light coming in from behind. Lighting can make things look so much more realistic if you use it properly for screenshots. Looks like more cinematic to have the light streaming in from the windows. Just looks cool in general. Ooh, energy weapons. Very nice. It's gotta be like 130 or so now? Or something? I'm not sure. Well, energy weapons is different from science skill. I'm not sure how that all works yet. Probably would know if I took some time to read, but... Too impatient. Nope. Even with that 10 luck, I still haven't gotten lucky with one of those yet. Okay, we got synth bodies over here. Yeah, so I'll just take those... Gamma Wave rifles back since they seem to love those things so much and always have them. These guys got annihilated by the synths. Okay, not bad, not bad. That was underwhelming, but all right. There should be more synths up here, too. You didn't have a whole lot. There we go. There's a two I killed up here. Yeah, just harvest them and scrap them, I think, will be good. Try tool, huh? The way he is, uh, oh, that, that's a cool, the glowing eyes, the way he's propped up there. If there was better lighting here, that'd be really cool, really cool shot. Even more. Oh, no, this is, we already did this, right? This goes all the way around, I forgot.
That's everything then, yes? Close, maybe? You can't go any higher, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Well, my job here is done. That was a bit scary, even with uh, the better armor. Those synths were still pretty rough. All right, back out we go. So yeah, just a bit more over here and we should be good to go. Cross over the bridge with the wreck of the USS Riptide. Should be a big fight going on between the Diamond City Guards and the mutants, I, I believe. Maybe I read something about the DC Guards getting a bit buffed up. Are they better equipped now since they are fighting mutants after all? It's like a white car, huh? You don't see a whole lot of those. I also can't scrap it. I thought I could. Sorry, I know it's our bridge, but I really wanted to get this uh, scrap. I thought we were going to get three cars. We only got one, though. It's fine. Is that like a little... kind of want to check it, but I don't have to run a long ways around to get back up. It's like a shack over there. Oh, I'm going to have to run so far around to get back up here. If I jump down there to look at it. It looks like an airplane part that's been like made into a little metal lean-to. Okay, I don't see anyone over here. Pretty sure we're still good. I'm pretty sure we took these guys out earlier and they've not respawned. We'll swap to the... Oh, yeah, this area. Yeah. So, by the way, someone mentioned that this might be because of the Boston FPS fix. I don't have it on, guys. I, I know that that's not compatible with uh, Horizon 1.9. I know it's not, and I, I turn it off specifically because... Well, because it says not to use it in the patch notes until it's patched properly. I did try turning off uh, Horizon textures but the uh, architect textures but um, didn't seem to play nice. I got a crash after doing that so I turned them back on. What? Oh, I hit I hit spacebar. That's why. I was just trying to jump and I hit spacebar and it salvaged it. Okay. Was confused for a second. Yeah, there's some weirdness going on here. Some things disappearing, reappearing. They're still there. Like I can't, I can't run through it. I was trying to there, but oh hi, are you not fighting a bunch of super mutants? Did you kill them already? Looks like you did. Okay. All the mines are done too. Well, okay. No epic fight for us, I guess. I'm pretty sure the DC guards can die, so I don't think... Uh... I don't think they're like an essential NPC or anything, so... They must have gotten buffed up a bit if they're going to be taking out those many, that many mutants. That's pretty good. Though mutants were also nerfed, so I guess it makes some sense there, too. There's some okay junk over in here, too. I think Wilson got most of the stuff over here. Yeah, all the mines are gone. 
Typically there are a bunch of mines around here, but I'm assuming that people probably stepped on them. Alright, well let's check the little, uh, beauty hideout place over here. Yeah, some decent stuff here. Not that many mutants, though. Might be more upstairs, though. That doesn't look like it. Ooh, APX rounds. I like that you can just kind of find those now. Like, they're rare, but you can just kind of find them out in the world. Already went to that room. Can't I get to Hangman's Alley from over here, too? Oh, yeah, we got some... We got some issues over here. This is more widespread than I thought. I'm gonna have to actually fix this off-screen, guys. Not, like, right this second, but I'm gonna have to fix it for sure. Man, that was a good throw, buddy. I got those, too. I got pipe bombs. Man. Cheats. Don't you die on me. Okay. It has been secured. He had a baseball grenade just in his hand there. Getting ready to chuck it. This is the new building that I think Horizon adds. This this all seems fine. Like, this area seems okay. It's the area outside of this that's having weird building despawning issues. And again, they're there. It's just a visual glitch. Wow, salvaging is 170 now. Crazy. Uh, it's time to do a scrap all here. Not just a cigarette, but a grimy cigarette. I probably will do a scrap all here and just get rid of everything. What's what am I supposed to do here? I'm supposed to make a recruitment station. Will the Horizon one work? Oh, I don't have the ceramic. I'm sure I'll have some ceramic. I'm sure there's gonna be like an ash tree around here somewhere. I can use for some ceramic. Something, right? Be a real bummer if it if there wasn't. Random robot that I can't scrap. Rest in peace. What about... Ah, not much. Okay, there is some weirdness going on over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, like... Horizon has changed this. 
Now, Horizon is the lowest in my load order. It, it is the, the highest priority. So, like, it shouldn't be an issue. Should be overriding anything else I have, but it's definitely like a texture thing is going on. Yeah, like right there, there should like there should be a building here, but then Horizon changes that, and yeah, it's not actually here, but from certain angles, it, it is here. That's that's an interesting one. This is a new area Horizon Ad, I think. I don't think this was here in 1.8. I'm pretty sure this is a separate building, which I like it a lot. Don't get me wrong, and it's probably something I've done wrong. Not going to be the one to, like, blame Horizon or anything for it. Probably something I've done on my end that's making it like this. So, you know, blame me, don't blame Horizon, I guess, is what I'm saying. I'm going to scrap all this stuff here. Just not very well organized. There we go, ceramic. I didn't even mean to place that, but we got it. Okay, cool. So is that... Is that the quest for... the Minutemen, or... Oh, let's see here. Right, build defenses. Okay. So you just build defenses here, and this will work as, like, a... co... Co-base for both Minutemen and the railroad. Shouldn't have done that. I should have just built... Um... Oh, hello. I forgot there's a chest over here. Is that enough defenses? Are we good? Do these not count because they're Horizon? I mean, they give defense. Maybe we have to just have to do more. I'm not really sure. I need a recruitment state or a uh, resource station. Oh, thank goodness I can make one. Okay. That'll help out a lot. So where are we hooking this up to? Grey Garden, I guess. Okay, local supply line, Grey Garden. Okay, now we've got all the stuff we need. And yeah, we're going to see... Wait, can I actually... I can scrap this now, huh? How much further back does the settlement go? Has he expanded out Hangman's Alley quite a bit? Yes. No, it's still pretty... minimal once you get past here. I like this, um... I like this, so I'm going to keep it for now. Need more defenses, though. I'll just try making some more of these and see if that's enough. And if not, then I guess we'll do something else. That's a bit better, doesn't... Well, it's a bit better. It's not great still. 
Does this count for defenses? Are we good now? Okay, yeah, I guess we're good. We, we made defenses and we are good now. Cool. So we got our recruitment beacon going. You know, I could have kept that pool table, I think, and it would have actually worked for us. I'm going to put, like, uh, shops and stuff in here, though. My plan for this place is to make it into my primary trading outpost place. So it should be nice and clean. Now this stuff actually works, so not much point to keeping it around. I'm getting um, my furnace kicking on, guys, so I'm probably going to do some stuff around here off screen while that runs, and I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I've just been kind of looking around to see what I can do here. Looks like there's even maybe... Can you get up here now? Oh, you can, you can go over here. This is interesting that the chair is not actually here, yeah. There's stuff that is not here that's scrappable. It's weird. Nice that you can actually get rid of the dead bodies and stuff, though. Okay. Interesting. Well, um... We have to get some kind of food and water going here because it's going to be necessary. I was thinking maybe we do like a rooftop uh, automatic planter type thing, but I... Looking at these, they're supposed to be placed in dirt. So I guess we kind of have to put them in the disgusting, dirty, waste-ridden dirt over here. I mean, it's kind of my only option. I can't make... Uh, these things. I don't have the compost for it, and I looked, and I can't make the compost. I don't have any compost, so... I think it's all being used up, so, uh... Yeah, unfortunately... can just do one of these, or we can do, like, a couple of these, just, you know, whatever, to have some food, I guess. I don't want to have a whole lot of food here, though. Just a tiny bit. Maybe some gourds or melons would be fine. They take up less space. That's fine. We'll get we'll get more pretty soon. Also, we got this guy here named Caretaker. This is for the quest, I assume. Hi. D do you got a Geiger counter, bub? Mine is in the shop. Your HQ's new guy, right? Oh, th thanks for setting up this place. Kind of wish you would have set up a cot or something, but at least it's safe, right? It, it, it is safe, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You shouldn't have any problems out here. Yeah, this place is, is definitely better than the last hole in the wall I was at. It was literally a, a hole in the wall. We got a package incoming. You know, package. I've, I've plotted out her escape route, got a new guy, new tourist that's going to help. He, he, he's all ready to sign up, but he's got big problems. We clear those problems up. And our package has got a nice, cozy shack to lay low in. If it'll help a synth, count me in. I knew I could count on you. I wish I could tell you what you're going up against, uh, but I got no idea. I'll mark it on your map. Go there and do what you HQ types do. Then K8's all set. I'll make sure she gets out of the Commonwealth. K8, as in Kate. I like it. Okay, federal ration stockpile. We gotta go back there anyway. Uh, to get into the main building, because I kind of screwed up and couldn't get in there before, so. Alright, so let's do some... Let's do some, uh, cots and stuff then, yeah? Do I want to make this the bedroom area, or somewhere else? I mean, it's fine either way. This'll do, I guess.
I'm pretty sure this can function as both like a settlement. I think we'll put these on this wall actually. Makes more like role play sense that they're over here. We got multiple floors here, no need to cram them all in together, you know? The other building is where I'll put the... Um, whatchamacallit's uh, shops and stuff I want to put in here. I want to make this into like a big trading hub. And we'll get enough trading rating here that we should get a trading settlement out of it. That should be plenty, actually. Okay. But not just yet. We're not going to worry about it just yet because I'm going to get home plate pretty soon and I want home plate as a main base with a whole bunch of vendors. See, I'm not really crazy about um, planting stuff here, but that's whatever. As far as water goes, I mean, we can do it wherever, I guess. Maybe have some recessed over here. Even though I have plenty of water on my other uh, places, I, yeah, it's, uh, you have to have a, a, some supply of water here to keep your settlers happy or else they lose happiness. So even though we don't really need it, uh, we do need to put water in here and that's going to be in here and in here. Yeah, this will work. I'll need two of them. You don't technically have to have them in dirt. Or what the game considers to be dirt. I mean, I could put them anywhere pretty much because I have place everywhere, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll do it like that. And then some power for those. Just a small one should do. Gonna look terrible having that going across there. Just don't mind the wire, people. I'll uh, I'll fix all this later on, guys, off screen probably. Or maybe I'll have a special episode that's just for like building stuff. But yeah, we got water, we got power, we got defenses, we got beds. What more could you guys ask for? Later, caretaker. So yeah, we're going to go to Diamond City and uh, do all that stuff because that's going to take a while. Going to be a lot over there. Interesting, there's something here I can't see. It's blocking me. Weird. Almost done with the crappy 38 ammo for this thing. It is what we're using, right? It's 38? Yeah. It just wasn't doing enough damage, guys. We're gonna have to stop using 38 and start using something more powerful. Which means putting this thing away unless we're gonna use uh, 45 in it. Oh boy, and we get to meet everybody's favorite nosy reporter. You tell how excited I am to get another companion. That was sarcastic, by the way. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just 
Lock me out! <sighs> you. You want into Diamond City, right? I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to Crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. No need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. You first. Wouldn't have it any other way. Kind of an odd Piper, thing to respond to. Let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that critter Ooh, scrapped that for parts. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son. Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. I hope so. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. Hmm, <laughs> a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Sorry about that whole, uh, so, lion. you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Oh, sure it did. Happened so fast you forgot all about basic human decency. Didn't your mother ever teach you to be honest? Hey, what's brought you into town anyway? Be good to note it down in the logs. I'm trying to find someone. Is that so? Who are you looking for? My boy Sean's been kidnapped. He's just a baby. Oh, look, I'm sorry, but... We're under orders not to get involved in missing person cases. There's a lot of institute paranoia right now, and we can't really risk fanning those flames with official action. What if people panic? I'll ask somewhere else then. Chin up. Maybe someone in town can help you? There's no way I'm gonna pass that with a one charisma. Okay, Diamond City, a lot of talking and quest getting to do here. 
We won't get it all done in one episode, though, for sure. I don't think I'll do all of it in one episode either. I'm not going to, like, pick up every single quest I can here right away because that'll be an entire episode of talking and role-playing, and that's a lot. So probably just start with the basics. Talk to Piper. Talk to Nick. and or Well, not talk to Nick, but talk to his assistant and uh, go from there. Anyone is one of Nothing those things. It's that secretary. Yeah, they got an overhaul for sure. And her Diamond City security did. Diamond City surplus is always open. Everyone else may be closed, but Diamond City surplus is open 24 hours a day. I'll take a look. Sure. The highest quality available. Yeah, vendor contracts. Yeah, I'll buy those. I think we're pretty good in everything else. Nothing I really need that bad right now that's here. Can sell some stuff, though. This is not bad, actually. But I've already got one that's better, so... Those can all be scrapped, I think. These are going to scrap them all as well. Those sell for literally nothing, so... Not bothering with that. That'll do. Alright, so Home Plate is uh, the place we want to get in here. It's really a nice settlement to get, but uh, we're going to have to go up and talk to Holy someone. Holy shit. Now that is some armor. You're damn right it oh. is. Wow, you're tall. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go up and talk to the lady up here. And I think it's 900 caps. It's rather expensive, but probably... Well, I don't know if it's worth it, but we're going to do it if we can. I'm not sure if she'll be in the uh, secretary for Mayor McDonough. I'm not sure if she'll be in or not. If she is, then we'll talk to her and buy the house. If not, then uh, I guess we're sleeping back over at home plate for the night. Oh, she's here. Cool. There's a no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. 950, huh? Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. Okay, 950, all right, I'll do it. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Yeah, I'm not going to take that elevator down. We got power armor for a reason, man. Latest news from the Commonwealth. This will be nice. We'll have a place where we can take stuff and vendor it very easily. This will be our new home, pretty much. All right, guys, so just a, a little bit of a spoiler alert here. Um, I have done some uh, testing. I put some bullets in my walls because uh, I don't know why I did that. I was shooting my gun. <laughs> don't ask. Uh, anyway, um, when I came in here, this was kind of a total mess, as in there were holes in the floor and the cell was broken you were not able to get back into here like you normally are. So stuff was definitely messed up with my load order and stuff. And I figured out the, the problem. 
Um, if you're having similar issues to what I was before with the areas, uh, specifically the bridge to Sanctuary was messed up for me. I had the old bridge overlapping with the new Horizon Bridge. Um, if you're also having issues with the area around Hangman's Alley as you walk into Diamond City, uh, with textures and buildings kind of disappearing and flickering in and out of existence, um, and if you have issues here in Home Plate, well, the problem was the load order of Horizon. And I don't mean the load order compared to other mods. I mean, within the Horizon mod, there are, uh, I, I, don't, I forget the exact number, but like 10 different uh, files like ESPs, ESMs, etc. that you have to have in the correct load order. And when you install Horizon, they are not in the correct load order by default. So you need to go to Horizon's uh, install page that has instructions on how to order it correctly. So go through that, make sure you have all the Horizon files ordered correctly, and voila, everything is fixed. So yeah, that's what I did, um, in case you're wondering. Now, I have exciting news with the home plate as well, because something I've wanted to have added for quite a while has been added. So normally in home plate, you come back here, and this is pretty much it, right? You get uh, this little bedroom here, this goes up on top of the roof, and uh, you get this area here, and that's it, right? With Horizon for a while now, I think in 1.8 or 1.7, um, Zaw added a wall here that you can bust down while you're in the workshop mode, and you can come down to here, and there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. Now, I've scrapped some stuff. Uh, there's a whole bunch of space down here. I've scrapped some things, but I'm going to leave some of them. Like, I like the toilet and the... Uh, Plunger is, is... Oh, Wilson, you gonna pick it up? Don't take it, Wilson. Leave it leave it there, Wilson. I like the aesthetic of having the toilet with... The nice toilet with the plunger there. Plus a sink and a towel and a bucket, you know. All the basics. I left some of the uh, boxes and, and the pallets and stuff laying around just because I thought it would look immersive, you know? If this is gonna be our trading and shipping center, we're gonna have some of that stuff laying around. Um, I might organize it a bit better. But, it's fine for now as it is. And then there's this area back here, of course. Which is a nice area for, like, all your settlers. If you want to, if I'm going to clear this out, I can put, like, a bowling alley back here, plus a bunch of beds and stuff, living area, etc. What I'm really excited about, though, because all this existed before, right? And even this front vault area existed before, too but you could not go any further back. You had this big room over here, which again is really cool. It's like a big entryway room to a vault. Lots of stuff you can do with that. But you could not go back here. And guess what, guys? Now you can. And uh, not only can you go back here, but it's quite large. There's quite a bit of room that you can um, use to make your own vault back here. So you can just scrap all this stuff, get out of the way, and use the vault building set. I'm not sure if... Um, guess we can get rid of this because that gives us vehicle scrap. I'm not sure if... Uh, you, you get the building, vault building stuff by default now, do you? You have to work for that. I'm not sure. It might not be until you do the vault quest for the other vault. It must be for the, for the other vault. Yeah, because we got cages, raider. I'm pretty sure there's nothing here uh, as far as vaults are concerned. by default, so we'll have to, um, we'll have to add that later on. But you certainly can do an entire vault back here. Like, it's, there's plenty of room. I mean, this room back here is very large. There's more than enough room back here for a good-sized vault. Now, and there's even a, a little uh, 
water thing here where you can plant either tarberries or you could have um, seawater extractor maybe. I'm not sure if it works there or not. Get rid of these two because, hey, free vehicle scrap, right? But yeah, it's very, very cool. So yeah, I'm going to be doing some cool vault building and stuff here. Once I unlock the ability to make the vault structure. The only uh, the only issue is that, um, I mean, it's so big, which is awesome. And you can build some really cool stuff here. But in terms of like how useful all this space will be, eh, I don't know. Um... It's a lot, right? Like, it's just so much room that I don't know what I'm going to actually be able to do with it because we're limited to, like, 15 settlers, really. That's kind of all you can do before the game starts freaking out. So, we've already got so much room uh, up in this area. So, adding, like, an entire vault back there might be excessive? I don't know. But anyways, I wanted to let you guys know that I did fix the stuff, and it's working now. This is a different day, by the way. I obviously took took a couple days in between these recordings, between when I entered here and when I actually loaded into here, as you see me now. Uh, I took a couple days to troubleshoot the issue, and yeah, that's all it was. I tried disabling... I probably spent uh, three or four hours just disabling mods, loading into Fallout 4 to see if it was that mod that was causing problems and saying, okay, that wasn't it. Until I got down to where I I only had Horizon and the unofficial Fallout 4 patch in my load order, and that was it. At that point, I was like, well, maybe I screwed up my Fallout 4 install, so I verified the integrity, did all that kind of stuff. Uh, everything came back fine, but still had the problem. And... Uh, in the course of talking about my problem on uh, the Horizon Discord, I mused that, hmm, maybe I just don't have the load order correct for the Horizon files. And someone said, oh yeah, you know, that's that's a, that's a big thing. You know, make sure you, you have those correct, because if you don't, that tr certainly can cause those kind of issues. And yeah, sure enough, I just didn't have the, the load order correct. So Anyway, it's all fixed now. It's all good. I'll be doing some stuff probably off screen here. Not a ton. I'm not going to go like Oxhorn level of customization here off screen on you guys and then come back and have like a settlement tour. It's, it's a bit it's a bit much for me. But um, yeah, I'm super happy with this so far. So anyways, guys, it's going to wrap this episode up. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.